let's prove the Bonferroni inequality. The inequality itself states the probability of A and B is greater than or equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus 1. So in order to actually prove this inequality I find it helpful to draw a diagram. So let's consider this circle as the probability space of the event A. We can also consider the probability space of event B. Now this area in the center, the shaded area, is what we can think of as the joint probability between A and B. So here, as likewise in the actual question, the comma represents intersection. The probability of A and B occurring simultaneously. So how does this diagram actually help us? Well, we can actually write a nice equation from the diagram. We can see the probability of A plus the probability of B, the sum of the two circles, subtract one lot of the shared area, i.e. the probability of A and B, gives us the probability of being A or B. So one of the two. Because we have, if we just added probability of A and probability of B, we would end up double counting the probability of A comma B, which is why we have to subtract it once. We also know in general that the probability of A or B must be less than equal to 1 because it is a probability and by definition probabilities cannot be greater than 1. Now looking back at the first equation, we know that the first, the left hand side, is equal to probability of A or B. So we can also say that this left hand side is also less than or equal to 1. And now, by simple rearrangement, we end up with our final answer, the Bonferroni inequality. And ta-da, hey presto, we've got the answer we wanted.